Spiders are usually solitary, but these spiders are different. They're social. They live in groups of up to a hundred, and they're all related, brothers and sisters, parents, uncles and aunts, all on the same web. They live side by side and hunt together. Here too, the mothers care for their young. Once these eggs are hatched, she'll feed the spiderlings by regurgitating food until they're old enough to hunt for themselves. For now, with so many spiders guarding the web, it's safe for her to leave the eggs in search of food. This mantis is far too large for any single spider to attack. So instead, they collaborate. All the nearby spiders help to hold it down. Even the smaller, young spiders lend a hand. Eventually, when their prey is exhausted, the spiders feed. It's not unusual for spiderlings to eat the bodies of older spiders that have died in the web. In fact, in some species of social spider, the mother always dies when the spiderlings hatch and they feed on her corpse. So the generations pass and the family thrives. This vast web will persist for perhaps five years until eventually the family moves on. By living together as an extended family and all looking out for each other, these social spiders have helped guarantee their survival. But some insects have taken this practice a stage further. Family members have begun to specialize. Oh. 